to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin. This is my co-host Eddie, and today I'm doing something I haven't done for actually a little while. It's a wireless headset review. So we're going to be checking out these guys right here from Logitech. It's the G533 wireless gaming headset. And uh, yeah, this should be quite interesting. I tested the G633 uh, a while back, and I wasn't a big fan of it. So it'll be interesting to see um, oh well, I was interested to see how these guys would do. So let's jump straight into it then with the uh, key features and specs. So driver-wise, it's coming with the Pro G 40 mm neodymium drivers with a frequency range of 20 hertz to 22 kilohertz. Weight-wise, it's coming in at uh, 350 grams, which is pretty solid. That's on the lighter side of things for a wireless headset. Now, uh, range-wise, it's coming with about 15 meters of range on the 2.4 gigahertz wireless uh, frequency. You know, you just plug the USB dongle in like normal, so it's all very straightforward. It's also coming with a DTS Headphone X 7.1 surround sound. We'll talk about that a bit more later on. And it's coming with a two-year warranty, which is uh, pretty respectable there. So now let's move over to the looks then. And uh, looks-wise, I mean, yeah, this thing isn't... Um, the greatest looking in the looks department. I mean, not very aggressive, very bland. Um, just black plastic everywhere, plastic fantastic. There's no lighting on it at all, which actually does make sense when it comes to wireless headsets because that drains the battery. Battery life on these was about 15 hours, which I have no complaints with. That's a really good amount. Um, so it does make sense, whereas on other headsets when they do include lighting you'll I'll often see people commenting saying you know well that just wastes battery well you can't just turn it off so hmm, hey um it's also yeah it's 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 not going to be for those people out there that want um everyone to know how much you know like they bought an expensive headset because this thing does not reflect the price it's coming in out which we will talk about a bit later but in new zealand at playtech right now it's 200 dollars. so that is a decent amount of money to drop on a headset for something that looks as stock as this um it's a, quite the price tag all things considered especially when you compare it to something like the cloud twos for example or cloud revolvers even which look much more aggressive than this however looks don't count for that much and uh let's move over to the comfort so i'll say briefly that all the controls are on the back of the left ear cup you got like your mute microphone volume adjust and to power them on and off so that's all pretty standard there in terms of padding you have this nice mesh um, padding all around your ear cups and of course over the top there the adjustment is actually pretty good uh, you shouldn't have any complaints there and because they're not super you know heavy or anything like that um, when we're talking in regards to wireless headsets they actually sit quite nicely on your head now I don't feel the weight much at all around my ears um, you don't really feel like the, the clamping force on it but I did tend to feel it quite a bit over the top of my head there now my reasoning for that is there's actually it looks like there's a lot of padding in the headset but it's actually very very minimal or it's just extremely soft padding so um, when you're wearing it you actually feel the plastic sort of dig in a little bit on the top of your head so comfort wise in that regard I wasn't a huge fan as far as the ear cups themselves go I mean they're they're a decent size I just it, it's very hard to explain they they felt okay around your ears but um, just the material I wasn't a huge fan of this like mesh type material it's a little bit uh, rough I prefer leather although that's more like a personal thing rather than a criticism of it and of course everybody's head different so it may be you know you might wear these and think they're the most comfortable one ever that's always a difficulty when it comes to reviewing peripherals is that we're all different so I have to just give my personal point of view um, and let you know what I thought be a comfort wise I think it was it was it was just decent I'll put it that way it wasn't it's definitely not the best um, and but but it's not terrible either I would just say it's sort of it's 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 good it's just decent um, but yeah uh, noise isolation wise as well it was mm, the, the ear cups don't really cancel out much so there's also that to consider but let's move on to the sound quality then because that's probably the most important thing when it comes to a, a headset you know if it sounds horrible then you're never gonna want to wear it will you so for mu uh, music and movies uh, it's pretty good 
the sound, it's always hard to kind of like describe it to you guys, but it, it's just very solid, very clear. However, it lacks a lot of punch from the bass. Now, I did go into the Logitech software, which comes with, um, and I did set it up to the drop the bass setting. Uh, and yeah, it, that didn't really improve it much, maybe a tiny bit, but it just lacked a lot of punch when I was listening to my music, especially if you listen to a lot of like hip hop music like me. Um, yeah, it lacks it in movies when there's like, if you're watching an action movie and there's like an explosion or something, then it also sort of lacks in that regard. But it's not, that, that's not really the end of the world. The sound quality isn't bad, it's just sort of a bit of a letdown in that one area. Now, as far as uh, gaming goes, uh, if you set it to 7.1, that works fantastic. The uh, surround sound, really good when I was playing Overwatch. Oh, you could hear everyone behind you and everything. It works superb. However, it does reduce the uh, sound quality quite a bit. But of course, if you're playing competitive games, that's not gonna, really going to be your concern. You just want to be able to hear everything around you. If you're playing like CSGO, Overwatch, whatever, um, you're just going to want to hear. So that was good, but for uh, general gaming, if you're playing a non-competitive game, you could still use it and give you a bit more of a surround experience, but the, the quality diminishes a bit. So it might sort of, um, you know, it takes a bit away from the experience as well. So that's just something to be considered. But overall, yeah, sound quality, I would say, aside from the lack of um, bass, basically, that, the, you know, that, that lack of punch that it has, it's still pretty clear and it's still pretty solid. So let's move over to the microphone then. So the microphone is um, pretty adjustable. You can pull it down, I'll show you guys right now. So you put it on, and then you can, uh, here's the mic here. Flip it down like that. So it's nice and out of the way, um, at like normal. And then you can move it around. You know, there's a bit of adjustment there. So, that, so that's quite cool. I, I like ones that are uh, built into the headset. A lot of people don't like that because they want to wear these, you know, when they go on the bus or something like that, or on a train and you look a bit hardcore if you got the microphone there, but I personally, because I don't do that, uh, I like it to be there in case, um, you know, you need to use it for something, you don't need to, you know, a removable one that you've left in your desk somewhere, you gotta search around and find it. Uh, but that's just me personally. In terms of the microphone quality, because that's the more important thing, right? If, if the mic's no good, then, you know, that's sort of a, a bit of a letdown. I would say it's, um, it's clear, I'll put it that way. People are definitely going to be uh, able to understand you, but it definitely, everyone's going to know you're using a headset microphone. You're like average headset microphone. Um, you're not going to be kidding anybody. But the best way is just to show you guys, and uh, of course, I'll let you have a listen in. So this is what the mic sounds like on the G533. So here we have the G533 microphone. This is me talking like I would in a video, saying volume. Here is it up high, and here is it down low. So yeah, that should give you an idea of what the microphone sounds like. As I said, it's, yeah, it'll get you by. It'll, you know, if you're playing games with your friends, they'll be able to understand you and everything. But if you're a streamer or doing something else like that, yeah, it's, it's not going to be the greatest. You're probably going to have to look for another microphone to use. Now, as far as build quality goes, as I said, it's plastic fantastic to the max. You can see very sort of flexible there. Um, that's not always a bad thing, although with the price point it's coming in at, I would have liked to have seen some premium materials maybe, maybe a metal headband or something like that. But it does still feel quite well built, and I don't imagine this would break uh, anytime soon. Well, I'd hope not, but as I said, I would have liked to have seen some premium materials. Which brings us now to the conclusion, and what do I make of the Logitech G533 wireless gaming headset? So it's it's got pretty basic looks, it's got decent comfort, and the audio is solid for the most part, but lacks a little bit of punch. However, at the price point of 199 New Zealand dollars, it's the same price as the G633 at Playtech right now. Now, I would say it is better than the uh, 633. Uh, the, I had a lot of issues with that headset, but this one all round, I would say, is the better one. So if you're deciding out of those two, I would definitely go for this. However, it's still pretty damn expensive for what you're actually getting. Now, I am aware it's wireless, and that does come with a price premium. But it's a lot of money still for a wireless headset, when one that you're getting pretty basic looks with as well. And 
you know, it could be a better comfort and it could have had better audio quality. So I would say it's it's still a decent all-rounder, but I would wait for this to go down in price because I'd say at its current price, in New Zealand anyways, of 199 New Zealand dollars, it is a bit high. So maybe wait for it to go on special or something like that. If it came down to like the 159 mark, then I would say that's starting to be uh, quite a bit more competitive there. Obviously, this may be different depending on where you live in the world. But yeah, it's a it's a decent all rounder, but definitely shop around because there are better alternatives um, than the G five thirty three. Now I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already, and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.